What's up everybody, Neo here with GadgetHacks.com and today I'm going to show you how to only let urgent calls and text come through on your silenced Android phone. So if you're like me, sometimes when I silence my device, I always have that thought in the back of my mind about maybe one of those calls or texts that I get while it's silenced might actually be important or urgent. Now, I'm going to show you how to only let those particular calls and texts come through only on your silenced device and actually make a notification sound or alert. You'll need a free application from the Play Store called Urgent Call. Now, there is a pro version for 99 cents, and we'll get into those specifics later. But Urgent Call, there's a free version. It works perfectly fine, does what I need, so go ahead and check that out. And... Now let's show you the actual application, how to set it up. So the first page, the home page, is basically how you enable the service. So it's on right now, and it gives me a little rundown of what I have. Then you go to text. Now the way it only lets particular text notify you is with um, a special word or a phrasing that you set up. By default, it's urgent with an exclamation mark. Um, it's not case sensitive in my experience. I didn't have to put a lowercase or a capital U when I texted urgent with an exclamation mark. But if you want to, you can edit it and put something like this is important or anything else. The only requirement is that it's five characters. So I'm just going to leave it at as, as urgent. So you might want to tell all your people that to text you that word. You can also take off the exclamation mark if you want. Do what you want. Then there's repeat call. You can set the parameters, but by default, the third call you receive from a, or actually from any contact, within 15 minutes will come through. So let's say my mom calls me, the third time she calls me, in those 15 minutes will come through. You can also edit this as well if you want it to be more than 15 minutes or more than three calls. And then there's single call, which basically lets you list contacts that can reach you no matter what. They can reach you on their first call or on their first text. Now this is a pro feature, so that's going to cost you 99 cents to get. Anything has to do with contacts, so if you want to trigger an alarm for a particular contact, like right here on the text alert, it's a pro version, so you'll need that to pick contacts, but I think it's fine with just anybody. And then you have this little clock up here that lets you set a snooze time for the app. So I don't want to snooze it, so let's come back. Now also, if you go under the settings, you can do the same stuff, like set the, the, um, the phrasing and the parameters for the calls. But if you actually tap on it, you can do some additional things, like how it alerts you with a ring, with a vibrate, vibrate and a ring. And you can also select the ringtone and Importantly, you can do the volume, so you can set the volume to 100 if you want, which I think is fine. So enough talking about it, let's actually show you how it works. Um, my device is silent, as you can see. I think the vibration is still on, but for the most part it's silent. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, and I'm going to text, I'm going to send two texts. The first one is going to be a nonsense text with just anything. And then the next one will be with the phrase or word urgent in it. All right, so I just texted myself, hey, nothing there. Now let's make this urgent. So all I texted was urgent, and it's making all that noise. All right, be quiet now. Okay, so there you go. So now let's go ahead and call the device three times, and the third one will come through. All right, so this is the first call. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to call again right now. That's the second call. I'm going to hang up again, and this will be the final one, and it should actually toggle on the alert. 
there you go. So I'm gonna hang this up now. All right, so as you can see, it's it's pretty convenient. It's something um, I think most people or a lot of people can use on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, definitely check out the full guide on GadgetHacks.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe for some more awesome Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.